to the flag the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On behalf of the board, I want to welcome everyone here tonight. And uh, to open the meeting, Mr. Latchamore, will you take a roll call attendance, please? Trustee Talkies. Trustee Bernard. Here. Trustee Southwick. Here. Trustee Arno. Mayor LaBounty. Here. Thank you. Um, in the packet, uh, there's nobody, by the way, addressing them uh, from the public that wants to address the board, so we don't have to uh, uh, read any rules for addressing the board. Uh, the second item would be uh, minutes of the regular July 3rd, 2023 regular meeting. Uh, the trustees should have that uh, minutes in this package. If there's no changes or amendments or questions on those uh, minutes, I, I make a motion that we accept those minutes as printed. I just need a second. I'll second. All those in favor of accepting the minutes of July 3rd, 2023 as printed, say aye. 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 Uh, say, all those against it, say no. The ayes have it. Bills, uh, Mrs. Pelkey? Uh, there is a supplemental list of bills that I had passed out today. Did you, did you receive that? Okay. So those are the four, those are four additions. I make a motion we pay the bills with the supplemental included. I second that motion. All those in favor of, uh, Paying the bill, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. The ayes have it. Uh, correspondence, Mr. Latchamore. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So the only correspondence that I have is I received um, communication from the uh, Dodge Memorial Library, Ann, and Ann approached me as far as for a possible expansion of the library for a community room. And we felt that it would be best to have Ann make the presentation because her and her board have been involved with this uh, since when? Well, early, early spring. Early spring. So at this time, if, with the mayor's consent, I'd like to turn the floor over to, uh, to Ann for her presentation. The floor is yours, Ann. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here. I'm Ann Paulson, by the way, in case anybody doesn't know me. Uh, I'm the director of the Dash Memorial Library. And I'm here um, on behalf of my library board of trustees um, to talk about a possible expansion to the library. The library was built, uh, was chartered in 1907, opened in 1907. And since that time, the building itself has never been expanded in, in much of any way. And one of the, because we are a chartered library, chartered by the state of New York, we have minimum standards, and in the little packet I gave you is a list of the standards that all New York State public libraries uh, must meet um, to remain a chartered library in the state of New York. And I just want to uh, refer to number eight and number nine. Number eight is maintains a facility that addresses community needs as outlined in the library's long range plan of service, including adequate space, lighting, shelving, seating, power, and data infrastructure, and a public restroom. Um, and the next one is provides programming to address community needs as outlined in the library's long range plan of service. We do have a long range plan of service that gets submitted to the state of New York to the education department, which covers all of uh, public library services in the state of New York. It's really become clear over the last couple of years. I started um, in August 2020 in the middle of COVID. And as we've come out of that time, the library has become more and more, it's become busier and there's more opportunities for us to do programming. But it's very difficult given our building because we don't have enough space to really do the programming that would meet the needs of the community. And one of those things is to have a community room. Almost all the libraries in the area, Moore's, Champlain, 
Uh, the only one that doesn't really is West Shazy, but Shazy, Champlain, Moors, they all have community rooms where they can uh, hold programming and events. And um, the next piece of paper was just a list of some of the things that we could do if we had a community room. And I also want to add the fact that I would, I'm hoping that if such an expansion happens to a community room, that there will be space also for a dedicated children's section, a children's room. Um, so in this list, I have, I won't go through the whole thing, but these are the things that we could potentially do with a community room that we really cannot do now. If, I don't know if um, all the trustees have been to the library to look at it, and if you want some time to come and take a tour of the library, that would be wonderful. But we can't do a lot of these things. Most of these things are not possible because we don't have room. We don't have a community space. Um, we also, our, our children's section is right in the main area of the library. So anytime we have a, a children's event, like our summer reading program that's going on right now, it's in the main part of the library. And it's hard for anything else to be going on besides that event, when the children and families and um, grown-ups are right in the main part of the library. And that's the case of a lot of activities that happen in the library right now. We do have a small uh, meeting room. It's the Ross nonfiction room, which seats, it has a table with six chairs. There's two comfortable chairs in the tiny corners, but that's really the only meeting space we have. Um, so there's a list here of what we could potentially do with a meeting room and also, hopefully, a dedicated children's room. But priority number one is uh, a meeting room. Now, back uh, in the fall, I went to the New York Library Association meeting, uh, conference, I should say, and I met um, Paul Mays, who's an architect, um, the next uh, slip of the next sheet here, from Butler, Rowell, and Mays Architects, and they're located in Boston Spa. And this is just a list of all the libraries that his firm has worked on, either uh, done major construction or small construction. They're very familiar with libraries. They're extremely uh, respectful of historic libraries, particularly, and um, the reason I put the little picture of Kinderhook is he came to visit our, uh, my board and did a wonderful presentation. And he kept referring to the Kinderhook Library in Kinderhook, New York, um, as an example of how a library uh, could be expanded without um, compromising the integrity of the, of the historic building itself. Um, so I just put a list of all the libraries that they worked on. They specialize in libraries. Paul Mays is on the board of several libraries. He's worked with libraries for over 20 years. Um, one of the libraries that I'm most familiar with is Saranac Lake Free Library, which when I first moved to the area, it was in the process of being renovated. And it was his firm that did the renovation, and it was very well done. Um, so I just added a couple more pictures of a potential, this is all very preliminary. It's just when he presented to us, he gave us some photographs to just show us the possibilities. And one of the pictures on the back of one of the sheets is a picture of a community room and what that might, might look like. It's just a, a sample. But it can give you an idea of what a community room might look like. This kind of room would be available to the community, as I say, um, not only for library programs, but for other community organizations to use. Um, the next picture on the other, I don't know which side, the other side, um, there's a picture of the Cambridge Public Library, which is where 
my children grew up, and the little extension off to the right of the library um, was done by Paul Mays' firm. And you can see he, they keep the integrity of the historic building and then add on to it. Um, underneath is a very, very simple preliminary idea of what might be done with um, the Dodge Memorial Library. Um, I don't know, it's not terribly clear in this picture. The community room and hopefully a children's room is the bottom part of the picture. What his, he was suggesting to have some kind of a breezeway between the historic part of the building and a new addition, the community room and hopefully a children's room. Um, so I wanted to put that in. It's, again, very preliminary, <coughs> but it gives an idea of the possibilities for the library. Um, he did present us with a proposal, which is the next, the last bit of the packet. This was the proposal that he wrote um, for our library. And I think it's a very comprehensive, very fair, proposal. Um, page five is the uh, fee structure, which is what I'm here to ask your support for. Um, we hopefully, in the, this is really step one of a long process to eventually request a construction grant from the state of New York, a library construction grant. But you can't do a grant proposal until you have an architectural design, because that's what construction is based on. So that's why we're so we really want to um, bring this to your attention and make it clear how happy we are with Paul Mays's firm as being the architect to design this um, extension to the Dodge Memorial Library. Um, I'm hoping that, I'm uh, trying to figure out how to best phrase this. We are requesting the potential of using some of the library reserve fund to pay for the architectural design of this, of the library expansion. As I said, this is only step one, but we need an architectural design before we go to the next step if we go to the next step of going to, you know, trying to find construction company, uh, a construction company to create an estimate. Because the state of New York construction grant is based on uh, an estimate from a construction <coughs> company. You're not, you're not required to use that particular construction company, but you need a construction estimate in order to apply for a library uh, construction grant. Um, so, are there any questions at this point? Uh, yes, lots of questions. Uh, I've got a couple. Um, um, have you ever approached the, any board about this project before? I mean, this is the first time hearing that the library wanted a community room or needed a community Actually, room. Actually, if I went back into the historical um, the newspaper articles from the New York State Historic Library, uh, Historic Database, where you can go back to see articles from newspapers way back. And in 19, one of the, I don't remember, 1999, something 1992. like that. 92. 92? Yes. Um, there was a proposal presented. I, I'm not sure whether it actually went it, to the live, to the village board. I don't know. It don't was know. back when Mrs. Trombley was the librarian, and it was her son. There was an article in the Press Republican written by Steve Manor regarding the proposal. And apparently, it, it didn't get any, I any don't traction know. or anything. I have no idea. Okay, this is all. This is all new. But said, how, how long have you been a librarian up here in Ross Point? I well, I started in 2020, 2020 August of 2020. Okay, so uh, and, and uh, I've been a librarian. I was a school librarian for 20 years. I, I guess you. How, 
how long ago did you make this proposal to the board that you wanted this expansion? Well, I've realized this as time has gone on because there's so many things that we can't do because we don't have any space for it. I understand that, but the question is, did you mention this to the board a year ago, six months ago, yes. or yesterday? Six months yeah. ago, well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, we started the conversation over a year ago. Yes, I would say over a year ago. Uh, and the only concern I have, and I, I want you to take it in the same way it said, is if, if this was something that's needed and you're coming to the board, why didn't you come to me as the mayor, the administrator, with some of the board members, and sit down with uh, myself and discuss this, and the possibilities and what was needed. And we, uh, you know, I'm with all due respect, you're just giving me this today and tonight, and I'm going to need some time to read it, digest it, and uh, to, before I can give you any kind of an answer from myself or this board, I, 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 I can hear just the initial conversation that you've given us that the need is there and what it, the purpose of this room would be. Uh, but I just need uh, some time to digest this information from the engineer. How big of a room are you talking about, by the way? My question is, do I, we have I, dimensions? Or? No, because this is a very preliminary plan. That would come from, you know, if we actually go with um, this Well, what I'm saying to you, do you have an idea that you want to ha have a room that can hold 20 people, 30 people, 40 people? I mean, has that been discussed? I don't believe it. Well, yeah, we did talk about that. I would say that. I would say what? I would say at least 50 people. Okay. And 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 did they have any preliminary discussions about a size, or uh, the whole 50 room, uh, the whole 50 people, what size of a room would be? Did they have any? No, we have not gotten that far because we don't have any plans and we have not met with him. He drew a brief thing, but not a... That's the next step. Yes. Right. Okay. So if we, if we do, First that's the next step. Very, I don't think it's a good design. No, that's gonna, not the final design. You're going to have two things on the side and one in the back? No, 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 no. no, no. Ignore it. I'm sorry, that wasn't in here. <laughs> I know, that's, but that's It's not. a very, very, very rough idea. Ignore the two things on the sides. What, I mean, where if you're going to expand, go, I would go. There's no design. There's none. Yeah, well, these are just, just, just ideas from other libraries yeah. that have been done before. What, what it's really... But there's no design the part, so far. Extending to the south of the building. Because there isn't, you know, this is the parking lot mm -hmm. here. But this is the part. Right. Ignore this. Those were just other other ideas. Some of the ideas involve so not just expanding, but also yes. reconfiguring the space so that the, the person at the desk of the library sort of has an overview, as opposed to a little room over here and a little room over there, It'll kind of be switched around to make things more Open. efficient, oh, exactly. more accessible. Yes, right. more efficient so for the person also running the safety library. issues. So yeah. you're, it's more visible. It's going to be modernized. It is not. It's not convenient right now. It's just mesh. Right. And it's going to get. No, I understand. Time. It's all preliminary, and yes. we're, yes. we're in yes. here. I just wanted, just for my own sense, to understand right. how where it was going. The south side of the building. I understand that. How big the room was, and so on and so forth. We're going from 1920 yeah. to 2020. What's that now? We're going from 1907 to 2023. And, and I understand. And I don't. I know that this. We're not. Is the we're first not saying time. no. We're yeah. just. We want. Right. We want yes. more. Well, more. I want you on the Absolutely. visual thing because I have trouble picturing things. Yeah. With and, and and I want everybody on the board to understand. I'm, I'm not saying no to this or I'm right. against it. I'm just saying that this is initial information, and I can't make an informed, intelligent decision yeah. no, without no, more information. That. You know what I mean? I mean, this. Hey, right. uh, I'm all for this community. I've lived here all my life. I want the, yeah. the kids and the, the adults and every to have everything <clears throat> access to everything we can provide them. But at the end of the day, how we provide them and what the cost that we provide uh, this, I need to know. And we'll, 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 I think we'll, also the architectural plan would include that. Here's how much it would cost you to make this much space. Here's how much it would cost you to make this much space. And what are the okay. various steps? Because the guy was clear with us that if you go ahead with a renovation, you don't have to do everything at once. You might just do this much. And then somewhere down the road, get another grant to do this much more. So his idea is you do an initial plan, and then 
adapt it as you go. Because it's experienced when an old library, um, when a library has never been renovated before, and it's the first time it happens, usually they have a first phase, and then you see the reaction and the effect on the community, and in most cases, they go into a second phase and sometimes a third phase because it... Of the activities and the increased the activities exactly. and so on and so forth. Yes. Yes. No, I mean, yes. that if, if, these, if this room is being utilized, then we can expand it again so it yes. can further be... I understand yeah. that. So at right first you start smaller. Also, the first thing he did when he came, he checked the lower, the basements, if we could do something with this, and then there's an attic that's extremely big and high. But he, for according to him, the cost and the basement is just too low for for uh, right. for the lead legally you can't do it basically not handicap accessible yeah. that is correct so, so, correct. so is that's why then so we determined that it would need the extent then we can't use a, either up or down so then we would go out and uh, size wise for the rooms he has an idea because he is very experienced this firm is very experienced in doing this, so he would give us an idea, you know, like, don't go too big, don't go too small. Kind of gave us an impression, but I don't remember him giving us an exact number of square I mean, feet or like, like no. you know. But that was only there during, uh, uh, during, during when the architect was there, so they might have had, had a He discussion. did an extensive presentation. He showed slide after slide of all the community libraries that have had things done to them to achieve this. Some of them are like over there in terms of marvelous but probably unattainable, and some of them are down here as to a small community like ourselves who did a modest expansion of their library. Okay. So we're not basic, basically the money to do this, we're still going to have to come up with oh, the yeah. construction costs. And you can't get the well, grant until you do the plan. Right. Yeah. So. That's right. Yes, I mean, this is step one, but even if we never went, I mean, hopefully we do go further, but this is just, this has to be done before you even attempt to go I, I understand that. We know. Yeah. You have to have an engineering uh, right. architectural yeah. drawing before they'll even go forward, right? And I understand I, that you haven't heard all of this before. I, I didn't expect, you know, all bells and whistles yeah. and say, oh yeah, go ahead and do it. No, 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 yeah, I, I absolutely understand that. No, no, no I, uh, the reason it took this long, I think, is I needed the board of my library, yeah. not my library, their library, the uh, library board of trustees, <laughs> to get on board and agree all right. together. Correction, too. the so, village's library. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> not, well nobody, nobody in here, it, including myself, owns that. It's the village residents who own exactly. that library. You but, you know, they control the, the destiny of that library. We need to understand, we need it as board to understand very clearly what are the options here? Is this even feasible? How has it been done before? And then think very deeply about will we even think about spending that money to get planned? This this was not something we decided in no. five minutes either. No, no. So no, I, I, I didn't. There's a fine line between some of these pipe dream and reality, and and, and oh, that's what I'm trying totally to figure right. out where we're at here, whether this is reality and this is something that down the road that we can uh, really obtain and it's going to be beneficial to our community, and, and if it is, I'm all for it, but I just need a little bit more, I guess, information to say the least, and then, but like I said, I, I don't want anybody to construe that anything that's being said today is anything negative. Um, it's just a lack of information before we right. go forward and make any uh, any promises on this board's behalf. And, and I, I appreciate your presentation and coming forward. But, uh, and uh, the, the reserve fund you were indicating, uh, Mr. Letourneau, the, uh, our treasurer is not here today, and I would normally ask him, uh, have you, you had the opportunity or the necessity to use any money in the reserves in the last six months, a year, no, or a year and a half? Do you use that for any particular reason, this money? Well, 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 well I've been told that, that that fund is used to balance the library's budget at the end of the fiscal year. Um, okay. That's... All I know. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do some homework on that also. But, yeah, yeah, since um, we don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, 
So I, I just didn't want to zero out the account. No, no, and then oh, have no, a no, 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 no. It won't zero out the account. Not, zero not out. according to the numbers that we're looking at. So okay. the good news is there's like so much funding out there. We just need to get the initial uh, engineering. Right, yeah. and it's going to pay off. The other thing is that Paul Mays, I've had several conversations with him, and if you read through this, you'll see that it says that the um, the proposal is valid through a month from the date of the proposal. Of course, that's not the case. And I contacted him and he said, nope, that's fine. He understands libraries, he understands you know, village libraries. He knows that these things take a long time. I just talked to him last week. And because I said, you know, it's been a while and these, these fees here, are they, are they going up? You know, we've waited. I mean, we, it, this has taken longer than um, we had hoped. And he assured me that these fees will remain the same. As long as it's not too much longer, if we can contact him in some way and agree to this by the fall, sometime in the fall, that these prices will remain the same, which I feel is very gracious. And they certainly seem reasonable to me. Um, but he's, he's I just want to assure you that he's very familiar with libraries and, you know. Right. And, and I, so. I guess I'll ask a, a dumb question. You're here today for, to inform us of this and you expect us? I, I guess to inform you of it. And okay. we'll be glad to meet with you, however, whatever the procedure is next. Okay. No, I, I obviously, I, 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 see, I hear your deadline of the fall and the prices increasing and all that, and, and I think it's something that uh, we ha we should meet sooner than later on. I, I'm going to have uh, take a look at this. Some of our trustees are out sick, as you can see, yeah. and we don't have a full board. But I I would uh, talk to these people when they get back, and uh, we'll set up a meeting with you, and maybe. Yes. One, uh, one of the one or two of the board members, or all the board members, and, and we'll, we'll go from there. I'll I'll make myself. Uh, uh, we have a, uh, a new mayor's office with a nice meeting table in it, so we can we can all sit around. And, uh, I haven't seen that yet. Your own expansion. How do you feel about it? Well, I'm, well I, I'm not. I'm, 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 young, young lady, <laughs> you, I'm not disputing it. I, just, it's just like this room. I yeah. want to do an upgrade in this room. Yeah. I want to take us out from the 50s and 60s, bring us there up to go. 2023. But this is here. Yes. But we we have some that. good news coming on the horizon. I've met with a couple of our elected representatives, and I think we're going to be able to accomplish some of those things. But at the end of the day, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah. So we're, we're working on that, and I understand your need. I appreciate your presentation, and I assure you uh, that we will meet again in the future uh, with you, me, and the administrator, and probably the treasurer, and whoever you want to bring with you, and we'll discuss this uh, much further. I can assure you, and uh, we'll try to get it done as quickly as we can. Thank, thank, thank you very you much. Mayor and thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much. <coughs> Any of the, would anybody on the board like to say anything before I go on to something else? No, no, I just want to say one quick comment. I, I appreciate. I think you've gone through your own expansion, so it's really nice to think of us too, and we're looking at it for the kids and attract a bigger community, more children coming in. Ben's been absolutely amazing. Can, can, can I tell you something? Some of these things should have been done 20, 30 yeah. years ago. <laughs> but you. Mayor Labonte's inhaled, inherited a few things, and we're yeah. trying to expand a few things. But yeah. as you well know, everything costs money, and yeah. we're trying to work in that direction. And I think. What you have here is a is a damn good idea as yeah. far as for older adults and the children and, and everything else. But we just have to make sure that it's cost effective and yeah, we can right. afford it and going forward and make it something we can be proud of. And that's what I want to have done. And yeah. it, it, if we just jump on it without thinking, it's not going to work well. I don't think Correct. so. But, but I promise I will meet with you people whenever you want. Okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Under reports, I need a uh, uh, the under resolution 2023-16, a budget transfer. This is from the water uh, department funds. Uh, Tours, I think it's, uh, and Mr. Lachimore, you can correct me if I'm wrong. This is money to be uh, for the 
proposed new water uh, uh, project, is that correct? Water plant reconstruction. That is correct. So we're just going to be transferring money that exists in one account to another account for the new water plant. That is correct? Correct. Any questions on that? If not, then I make a motion that uh, we pass the, the, the resolution 2316 uh, to transfer the money. I'll Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor of uh, oh, the roll. resolution, uh, we'll take a roll count vote. Trustee Palkey? Trustee Bernard? Aye. Trustee Southwick? Aye. Trustee Arno? Mayor Labounty? Aye. The ayes have it. The resolution is, is passed as written. Uh, I also had a couple uh, I, items under my name also to amend uh, code 54-4, uh, but uh, we've mentioned a couple board members plus our attorney, so I tabled that. We also were scheduled for an executive session that involves some personnel issues without the attorney and our full board. I tabled that. I, I want to announce to the public that we're going to go out to bid uh, on a new roof for our fire department. Our, the fire department is a very important part of our community. This, this, we have Ms. Bouquet here tonight. She's been a member of the fire department for a while, my understanding. I'm not a fireman. Uh, this has been leaking for quite a while, I would say. Uh, a number of years. It's in the men's washroom, which isn't somewhere I go very often. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I understand that there's a significant leak. The EMT is there on the weekend, has a shower, and uses that because she's there like for X many hours, quite a long time. All her belongings got soaked because it leaked. And, and then we're talking about the additional damage to water leaking in between the sub yeah. oh, roof no, and everything right. else. So uh, I, this has been long overdue. Uh, I've talk to uh, the administrator and the tre treasurer and the board. Uh, it's very important that we get this done, and so we're going to go out and get three bids, and we're going to get this done before the year's over. Uh, the other thing is, uh, very Mayor. briefly, we had a okay. meeting uh, with the EMS people. We need, we need a motion and a second so I can advertise it. I make a motion that we advertise for the new roof for the fire department. Uh, excuse me, you're right. I second that motion. And um, we'll take a roll call vote on that, Mr. Latchmore. Trustee Falke? Trustee Menard? Aye. Trustee Southwick? Aye. Trustee Arno? Mayor of Bounty? Aye. So, so we've been approved to go out for the uh, bid for the uh, roof of the fire department. And the last thing I have is we had a brief meeting with the EMS people uh, last week, and the cost for the EMS service for the village of Ross's Point is going to increase by $25,000. It's unfortunately the cost of fuel, the cost of equipment, and uh, the cost of doing business. They've hired some additional people, and um, I'm not very happy about it, but at the end of the day, uh, we need this service for our loved ones, and that would be uh, remiss upon anyone uh, and on this board to uh, not give us the best service we can for this village. For our sons, our daughters, our, our friends, our relatives, our mothers and fathers, we need the best service that we can get. And um, and if this is the cost of doing business, then that's what it is. But uh, we'll discuss it further, but I wanted you to give the initial information that we received in the uh, meeting uh, with uh, uh, some people from the EMS board and uh, Corey Thompson, who's in, who runs the EMS service, indicated that this fee would be uh, set in stone, a $25,000 increase for 2024. So I wanted to get that out as soon as I could to the residents of the village. Uh, and I'll have further information as time goes on. Thank you. Uh, that's all I have. Um, Trustee Arnold's not here. Trustee Menard, do you have anything? Uh, nothing for this evening. Um, uh, Trustee Southwick, do you have anything? I have a couple things. There was, a, there was a notice about uh, boiled water that was issued and lifted this past week. That was because there was a water main break right up front of, right by Sandy's Deli. And speaking with Supervisor Menard, it was at an odd angle, so it was a little difficult to work with. But our work crews are great, and working from 7.30 p.m. till 4 a.m., and with an assist from Champlain, they got it 
they got it fixed, so kudos to them. The, our work crews work in sub-zero temperature for in the winter. They'll work in the hot heat that we had last week, so they we definitely count on them when we absolutely need it. So definitely good kudos to them. Uh, we also still are looking for a water plant operator. I believe they can contact the village office for details, Mr. Latrimore. Correct. Correct. And that's all I had. Do you need, do you need a motion to advertise for that? Uh, I would like to get a motion to advertise that, for that position. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor of advertising for a water plant operator, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. The ayes have it. You are you have the permission of the board to advertise for a water plant operator, Mr. Lefkoe. Thank you. Um, anything else, Mr. Selwick? Uh, I just wanted to follow up on what I mentioned at the previous meeting. I think both, both, both of you were, were absent. Yeah. Uh, Trustee Pelkey had brought up the, the parade, which went well. I agree. I also but I spoke with the people who run the City of Plattsburgh parade about what's known as a quiet zone, where you'll have a zone close to the beginning of the parade where anyone, say, on the autism spectrum or any kind of hearing difficulties, they can enjoy the parade as well. The sirens will be down low, the, they won't be blaring their horns. So that seems pretty easy to do. Sounds like something we can do in the future. No, nope. means uh, more people can enjoy the parade. That's that always like a good. Good idea. We could pass that along to the committee because as you know the village doesn't have any control over that but uh, we already done that oh you already done that perfect yes. perfect just let people know okay perfect very good anything else sir no that's it. okay uh, Board <coughs> officer Cooper do you have anything you want to say no sir okay um, does anybody uh, want to address the board before I close the meeting okay then I need a motion to adjourn motion to adjourn second all those in favor of returning say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. Thanks everybody for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.